Kaschner, and I'm a marine biologist based at the Albert Ludwig University of Freiburg in Germany. I'm interested in research questions relating to marine biodiversity and conservation issues, and I have extensive experience using bioinformatics and spatial modeling tools to investigate the occurrence of species in the marine environment. For this reason, I work with FAO, the World Fish Center, and other D4 Science partners on the development of a predictive species distribution model called the Aquamap Spiritual Research Environment using e-infrastructure. In this demo, I will give you a brief introduction to this neat new tool. D4 Science is an important European e-infrastructure project that brings together 11 international institutions. It is co-funded by the European Commission's seventh framework program for research and technological development. The project started in January 2008 and will last until December 2009. The follow-up phase has already been approved and d for science 2 will start in October of this year. d for science uses the computational and storage capabilities offered by EG to deliver a data infrastructure suitable for the generation, curation and management of complex compound objects. This supports the interdisciplinary investigation of scientific questions across a wide range of user communities. These currently include fisheries biologists and environmental data providers but will likely expand to other fields in the near future. d for science provides the dynamic generation of virtual research environments, or so-called VREs, and provides the users with an infrastructure to integrate and analyze data and information from a variety of sources. The shared infrastructure eliminates deployment costs. Each VRE and its associated application offer similar sets of functionalities, including a repository, where users can safely store, share, and access information. A computing environment where users can manipulate all that information, customize algorithms, and execute large or small data simulation processes. And finally, a reporting tool to present information from the repository and computing environments. Aquamaps is one example of VREs that have already been developed by D4Science. This VRE focuses on the investigation of species occurrence and biodiversity patterns developed to address key issues for fishery scientists and managers. The VRE relies on predictions provided by the Aquamaps project, an online species distribution model aiming to produce range maps for marine organisms. The VRE uses the Aquamaps data to generate biodiversity and species distribution maps. It also supports visualization of outputs in different formats. In addition, users are provided with the option to enrich the generated maps with metadata and comments. Finally, users can publish and share maps and other outputs within the VRE. In the future, users will also be able to generate maps using alternative modeling approaches or environmental input data. Moreover, they will be able to compare outputs with other species distribution maps created directly by experts, such as available through the FAO Fiji's system. In the Aquamaps VRE, the generation of maps starts with the selection of one or more species using species-specific criteria. This can be done by using taxonomic filters, selecting species based on their phylogeny or evolutionary relatedness. Searches and filtering can use scientific names, but also common names in different languages. In addition, species can be selected based on their habitat preference, that is, their biological tolerance of different environmental conditions in terms of depth, temperature, or sea ice coverage. Additional selection criteria are related to the importance of a species from a human perspective, such as recreational purposes like diving or sports fishing, or because the species is considered to be dangerous. After the species-specific criteria have been selected, the geographic area of interest can be specified. Spatial selection of one or more areas can be performed based on ecological or politically defined geographic regions, such as large marine ecosystems or exclusive economic zones. Following the selection of species and areas of interest, the user can now choose the specific environmental input data set and the predictive algorithm for generating maps. Currently, a single algorithm, or habitat prediction model, is available, which can be customized by varying the relative importance of different environmental attributes for determining species occurrence. This request generates a grid zone. 
ACRAMAP grid jobs are automatically submitted by the D4 Science ACRAMAP's environment to the EG production infrastructure. By exploiting the large computing power offered by the EG infrastructure, thousands of ACRAMAP's products can be quickly generated. A completed grid job generates a compound object containing the resulting biodiversity maps and several geographic projections. These products can be viewed, analyzed, and shared with other users through the BRE. In addition, the ACRAMAPS BRE provides a powerful simulation tool that allows the visualization of changes in biodiversity under different climate scenarios. For this purpose, alternative environmental datasets can be imported and modified to simulate the impact of environmental changes, such as climate change, increased river runoff, or algae blooms before the maps are created. To me, the Aquamaps BRE is a great example of how to use grid technology and e-infrastructure to help scientists to collaborate more closely and to overcome current barriers that hamper interdisciplinary research. Thanks for listening. For more information, please visit our website at www.d4science.eu.